Hello everyone! Today, we will study about MAPE Art 6. This is quarter 2. Lesson number 6. Elements and principles in layout. After going through this lesson, you are expected to discuss the elements and principles applied in layouting and focus on the basic of layouting. Learning task number one. Search for 14 words in the puzzle to know the elements and principles of arts. You may look on your previous lesson. Write your answer on your notebook. Learning task number one. Look for line, shape, form, space, color, texture, balance, emphasis, movement, proportion, rhythm, variety, and unity. Good luck! Learning task number two. Look at the following pictures. All the pictures are posters made by pupils like you. What do you think each one is trying to communicate to you? Do you think artists who made them were effective in telling message clearly? Does it matter what kind of pictures they have and where they place them? Here are the pictures. Learning task number three, read and understand. Layout is such an important part of making a poster. You do not want a boring and flat poster. A common poster is not that limited in space. There is enough room to place everything and tell a story. A good layout artist, however, does not use all the space in his or her poster. How space is utilized is just one. Basics of a layout. Number one, list down all the materials. Number two, make several studies or sketches. Move your elements around. Sketch as many thumbnail ideas as possible. After critiquing your ideas, select your best three ideas and translate them into final design. Number three, theme. Decide which important message do you want to communicate to your viewers. Number four, title. The central theme of your poster is determined by the title. The title should be the largest text and most readable from at least 5 feet away and should be tied with a supported by all the other elements of the poster design. Number 5. Colors Use a solid color for the background not a pattern. Limit the number of colors as well too many of them is distracting. Use bright colors to lead viewers' eye to the center of the interest or for emphasis. Avoid placing beside each other any color that clash or that fade each other out. Choose colors that help communicate the message and unify all the elements together. Number six, words or fonts. How would the words be placed? Which words should be large? Which is small? Should the words be set formally or sans serif without projecting features at the end of the strokes? Carefree and font types, bold or italicized. How they appear on a poster contributes to 
to the power and visual appeal of the design. Number 7. White Space White space is a vacant area in a poster. These are no text, pictures, or other graphic images covering the white space. The viewer's eye will be overwhelmed if you have too little and wonder if you have too much. Learning task number four. Analyze these pictures. Learning task number five. The two magazines shows differ in more than just the kind of article and advertisements they contain. Figure out how else the two magazines differ. Study their unique features in terms of design. Accomplish the following in your notebook. A. Fashion magazine spread layout. And B. News magazine spread layout. Number 1. Which one has more elegant and unhurried look? Is it A or B? Number 2. Which one is designed as though it will cover timely and important information in fast and efficient manner? A or B? Number 3. What other elements do you find uniquely different in the two spreads, two pages facing each other? Cite at least three elements. Number four, which do you think is more visually appealing? Which spread would you pick up and read? A or B? Learning task number six. Write T if the statement is true and write F if the statement is false. Write your answer on your notebooks. Number 1. A common poster is not that limited in space. True or false? Number 2. The central theme of your poster is determined by the title. Number 3. Layout is not an important part of making a poster. Number four, use a solid color for the background, not a pattern. Number five, use dark colors to lead viewers' eyes to the center of interest or for emphasis. Number six, white space is a vacant area in a poster. Number seven, a good layout artist, however, does not use all space in his or her poster. Number eight, a common poster is limited in space. Number nine, decide which is important message do you want to communicate to your viewers. And number ten, Consider the elements and principles of arts in making a poster. Here are the answers. Number one, true is the correct answer. Number two, true is the correct answer. Number three, false. Number four, true. Number five, false. Number six, true. Number seven, true is the correct answer. Number eight, false. Number nine, true. And the correct answer in number ten is true. Great job, everyone. Thank you for watching.